Hello, everybody. Say hi, Buttercup. Say hi, Buttercup. Buttercup has got a slight cold. She's not feeling well. And so if I'm in here, she wants me to hold her. So you get to see, I know, Miss Buttercup. Um, I'm also sitting in the horriblest light. I should be facing the other way to get better light. But I want you to be able to see the kittens. There's only four kittens in here right now, and they're all four really shy. And they love the cat trees. So I'm hoping you'll be able to spot a kitten um, hanging out on the cat trees. I'm really thinking that by the time this is over, they'll get curious. But I could be wrong because they're really shy. We're working on that, aren't we, baby? Yeah, but Buttercup doesn't feel good and she likes to be held. So, okay, today's video is very exciting, um, or I'm very excited about it. Uh, we are going to talk about kitten season. I've had several comments lately. Um, people around me have been talking about it. It's coming. Um, it's inevitable, at least for now. Uh, it is going to start soon. I'm actually surprised it hasn't started already because we haven't had that um, bad of a winter, but I'm thankful, I'm thankful. And I know a lot of people like kitten season. Um, they like that there's new cute babies and there's mamas and babies and it is, it is wonderful. But on the other hand, that's also when the hard work and the fighting begins because the rescuers have to work really hard and it's overwhelming and the kittens have to fight for resources and really they're fighting for their lives because at the peak of kitten season, there will be hundreds and thousands just here locally, um, you know, trying to survive. And it does, for both sides, get a little overwhelming. So, I decided this year, because I did not do this last year, and by the end, whew, but this year, I am really getting organized and being prepared. I have made lists, I have cleaned out everything, I've sanitized, I have organized, um, you saw the video with my medicine cabinet for the kittens. I have the same kind of system for toys, for blankets, for just everything, for food. I have a whole pantry for food. Um, the, the people pantry that normal people have, mine is full of kitten food and supplies for kitten food. <laughs> we don't need that much people food here. but. Where you come in is, I am doing a fundraiser all during the month of February, and I hope to make this an annual um, event. It is called Kitten Stock 2020. Um, it is a wordplay on Woodstock, just for people. My daughter didn't understand. She was like, what is Kitten Stock? And I was like, it's like Woodstock. Anyway, but it's Kitten Stock 2020. And what it is, is I've, I've done several different things. I have started a GoFundMe called Kitten Stock 2020. I really, um, the GoFundMe site was so much easier to use. I was very shocked and impressed um, by how it's run, how it's organized and set up, and how easy it is to, to navigate. Um, so I did start a GoFundMe for that. Um, there's also um, a PayPal, which you won't know the difference between the PayPal uh, thing. It's still just a PayPal button, but I will. And then I have restocked. Do you want down? I don't know if she wants down. She might want down. Um, I have restocked the Amazon wish list and the Walmart wish list. You can get down. Okay. I don't know. She can't make up her mind. Um, I have restocked both of those, and then there's the P.O. box where you can send me anything that you want, or the kittens anything uh, that you want. But, I have done these things so that we can all come together to help, because no one person can do it all. Um, believe me, I know, I've tried. Uh, when I first started doing this, it, oh. But, you guys, the cat community, and it just, my channel, this community is is it's just amazing
amazing. Like I get overwhelmed sometimes when I think about it. Um, but the compassion and the generosity that you guys have for these cats and kittens and for me and the whole organization is wonderful. So I thought, well, let's put that together into something um, and, and, you know, be prepared and work together so maybe this kitten season will go a little bit smoother and we can save more kittens and more um, cats, especially like the mommy cats, you know, they need just as much as the kittens. Um, but we can come together and, you know, through the funds we can purchase vaccines and uh, parasite control, both internal and external parasites. They all have to be spayed and neutered. All of them. I don't let them be adopted out very often anymore without them actually being spayed and neutered, um, you know, before they leave here. And so all of that adds up. And when you think about it, it can be overwhelming. But if we're proactive and we gather all those resources before it even starts, that's, that's a game changer. That will you know, that will make everything so much easier and without all that worry and that stress and the disorganization that I, I was very disorganized last year. It was terrible. I looked back at some of my records and I just thought, oh my goodness. Um, but this year, I'm going to buckle down and we're going to all come together. Oh, hey baby girl. And save all the kittens. Now, now that that's all over, I will say we are going to do several fun things with kitten stock. Um, every single person that donates um, anything, uh, supplies from the wish list, um, funds to, you know, however you get them here, um, anything like that, we are going to. Um, have a raffle. Well, first, every single person that does that will get a personalized thank you from me and the kittens with a little surprise inside. And then everyone is going to be entered into a raffle. And there are several things. It'll be a, a bunch of different raffles. Um, but some of the stuff that will be raffled off are um, you get to name either a litter of kittens or a group of kittens, you know, you never can tell. Uh, there'll be several of those where you can decide the names, um, and you can name them however you want, after yourself, after a family member, you know, after your favorite flower, I, you know, whatever you want. Uh, another thing that's going to be raffled off is there will be kitten stock merchandise. Uh, it might be up by the time of this video, but it may be the next day. I think it's probably going to be tomorrow if you're watching this the day it comes out um some of that will be raffled off sharon um sharon and sunday have generously said they're going to donate some items for the raffle as well and you know her stuff is amazing she her it's quality stuff um so i was very thankful to them for that and there's a couple other things as well um, and I'm really going to be pushing this. Um, there will be something every week about kitten stock. Um, I will try to keep a running total and um, make sure that the thank yous are, you know, given in a timely manner, that kind of thing. Um, but it's going to be really fun. Um, and not just really fun, but so helpful. And, um, you know, we all want to see, you know, healthy, happy kittens and healthy, happy mamas um, get their forever homes. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. So, oh, I wonder, um, Mox is on the floor. I wonder if you could see Mox um, when she got down. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Mox did not get to be spayed. Um, you know, Fox and Zen went to be neutered, and Mox did too. Yeah, but Mox is two ounces too little. So she goes back in two weeks. But anyway, um, there I go rambling. I'm not going to ramble. Uh, that is really all I had to say. So for Kitten Stock 2020, 
please um, check the description below. It will have probably more concise, better worded details. It will also have links to the GoFundMe, um, to the wish list, to PayPal, to everything that you'll need, uh, you know, to um, help out with. And I think that's it. Um, oh, it's, it may be a little bit under 10 minutes. I am so proud. Okay, thank you and I hope everyone has a great day.